Okay, uh, good evening. What to do? Monster Mouth 97. Monster Mouth 97. So I, I've made this picture in our in the F3 program. Um, what is this picture? So it looks like it's the intersection. There's like, you've got three cylinders. Yep. And you just have them going through each other. Yep. And then you can change some of the parameters. You can change the height. Huh. Cool. And then you can change the radius as the other parameter. Are you really thick? Or almost invisible? Yeah. So what shapes do you think are interesting in this picture? Well, it's like, it's just a bunch of cylinders, so you could look at like the extremes. We have a bunch of height. No height actually, that's interesting. Okay. It's like this. You have three circles. Yeah. Which I think they're supposed to be just two dimensional. Yeah, so if you make the height just, just a tiny bit away from zero, then you can mm -hmm. see what that looks like. That's actually kind of a neat shape. I don't know. They're moving around a little bit because it, it, without it moving, it doesn't show up very well on the, on the camera. Kind of fuzzes out. It's a neat shape. So what, what do you think is the most interesting shape here? Like, I'll make it a little bigger like that. Okay. I like, I like this shape. All right. Well, maybe I'll 3D print that overnight and we can take a look at see a little bit more about so what that looks be, like. It might be a little hard to 3D print unless you do it pretty big. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, you can, you can widen it out a little bit. Like that. That, yeah. ought, that ought to be enough to print. All right, now, um, Make the radius, shrink the radius a little bit and give it enough height so that the, you've got three intersections again. Okay, shrink the radius a little. Okay. My question to you is, what do you think that intersection looks like? If, I, if instead of doing the union, I just did the intersection, what do you think that intersection looks like? Well, I don't think it's a circle. Hmm. Or, well, I think from the... If you looked at it from the top and from the x, y directions, it would look like a sphere. Okay. All three times. Uh huh. Or it would look it would, head on. It would look like a circle, but I don't think this is a sphere. You don't think it's a sphere? You think it, you think it'll look like a circle, but it'll it looks it'll look like a circle if you look at it this way, this way, or this way. Okay. But this shape will not be a sphere. Okay. Well, I can change. I'm, right now we're looking at the union, and I'm going to change it to the intersection. Um, this time without a typo. All right, so there you go. So you can see you have this circle-like shape. Okay. Up top. Yeah. And to the side. I mean, I'm not sure. What well, you would even call the shape? Like it looks sort of vaguely like a cube. Okay. But you have these weird lines, and it's also got curves. Hmm. But no, what the shape would be called? Well, uh, are there any features in it that are surprising to you? And you can make the radius bigger if you want. Um, um what my parameters go? Here, here, let me just click, click over in the, that window. It should have popped up. Here there. Alright. So, height? height? Height probably won't affect it, because it's the intersection. The radius makes it... Whoa! Wh what? Well, that's because the um, picture... It went outside of... Yeah, it went outside the picture. So, make it bigger, but keep it in the picture. So that. Okay. Well, height, radius just makes it bigger. Yeah, but big now you can see it a little better. Yeah. Like, these are sort of look like diamonds or squares. Okay. But they're, you can see that they're curved. And, well, there's a lot, this has a lot of neat shapes. Like, look, this yeah. whole triangle thing. It really does have a lot of neat shapes. The shape comes up in a in a in a very challenging problem in calculus class where you try you're given the task of trying to find the volume of this shape. 
hmm. which is a which is a really interesting challenge. For now, I just wanted you to see it, and you can probably hear the three D printer in the background. Um, printing this? Yeah, we're printing this shape. So you, tomorrow morning, you can play around with it a little bit. Hmm. But um, after we turn the camera off, we'll go back to your other shape, and um, I'll print that one overnight. All right. And we can look at the two shapes. Okay.